Okay, everybody, welcome to Space Arena, the ultimate Python Turtle Graphics game tutorial part five. In this part, we'll be working on our player spaceship and making it move like a spaceship. So this is gonna take a little math, a little physics, and a little bit of luck. Uh, so let's take a look at what we have so far. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run it. And sometimes things get stuck in Genie on the terminal. Just hit enter, this turns back to black, and you are good to go. And then it works. So you can see I've got my spaceship in the center, it's rotating, but one problem is, before we do anything else, is that it tends to, well, we can't tell which way it's facing because it's an equilateral triangle. Let's go ahead and fix that first. So I'm gonna go down to my player, and this is where one of those cases where the player is rendering different from the other sprites. So we're gonna to have to make a separate render method for the player. Now, if you, I hope you watched the last video, and if you didn't watch it to the very end, you should go back and watch that, because I did make a few changes, kind of last minute changes, uh, to hopefully clean up the code, but uh, if you stopped early, you might have missed a few of those, so that's why your code might look a little different to mine. But just make sure you go back and watch that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy the render method from the sprite class. Okay? And as we mentioned before, the player is a child of the sprite class, so I'm gonna go ahead and add that method in there. And what I need to do is I'm gonna use a method of the turtle module, uh, in this case, the turtle object pen, and it is, I think, what is it? Uh, shape size, I believe, yes, shape size. And you can see here, here are the arguments I need. So self is gonna come from the pen, stretch width. So I want it to be a little bit narrower in width. I'm gonna keep it 1.0 in height, and I don't want a border. So you have to remember that the default uh, shape of an object in the turtle module is 20 by 20 pixels. So it'll be 20 pixels high by 10 pixels wide. Let's go ahead and run that and see what happens. Okay, so you can see now, I can tell which way my spaceship is facing, but you also see how these shapes got kind of transformed as well. So what I'll need to do is once I'm done with this spaceship is put everything back the way it was. So shape size 1.0, 1.0, and no border. So I'm gonna go ahead and test that. And you can see now just the spaceship has changed. Okay, so next up, this is where we want the spaceship to move around like a spaceship. So we have to think about the physics of it and how that works. In space, you have inertia and all that kind of crazy stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new method called accelerate. Okay. And it's gonna be for the player. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do, a, I'm gonna have to do something with the thrust and the acceleration. And I'll explain that in a second. Self.thrust plus equals self.acceleration. Now, if I run this, I'm not sure if we're gonna get an error or not. No, we're gonna get an error, but we will get an error later because thrust and acceleration aren't defined. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up to my sprite class and I'm gonna define this. Thrust equals 0, 0.0. That means the engine is not, there's no momentum in this object. It's not moving at all. And self.acceleration is 0 0.2. Now I just experimented until I found a number that worked with my system and seemed to make sense. Um, so thrust is the amount of force that the engine is putting out at a certain time. Acceleration is the change in that thrust. So if you fire the engine for one second, let's say, it gives you 0 0.2 acceleration. If you fire it for or 0 0.2 thrust, if you fire it for two seconds, it gives you 0 0.4, then 0 0.6, 0 0.8. So you have more and more thrust going into your system. Now, what we need to do with the player is to use that idea. Now, here's where it gets a little complicated. This is, this is where the math really comes in. So I'm gonna go up to my update method. So remember, this is what controls how the object behaves. Okay, each tick through the game loop, this is called. So we need to update the X and Y location, we need to upset, update the heading based on the DX and DY. Now I'm gonna change the order of this around a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit of code. And I'm gonna do self.heading 
percent 360 e uh, percent equals excuse me 360 and what that does the, the this is called the modulus and once my heading gets to say 370 I don't need it to be 370 it's actually 10 because it's a circle it wraps around and this will wrap it around for you just trust me on that one <laughs> okay you can google the modulus if you're not sure what that happens now this is where the math gets a little crazy so my dx is changed by math.cosine math.radians self.heading times self.thrust and self.dy plus equals math.sign math.radians self.heading times self.thrust okay so this is a bit of mathematics let me run that and show you what happens we're gonna get an error but okay and this is something when you get an error you got to figure out what the error is. So you see line 47, there's line 47, says here's the actual line. It says math is not defined. It doesn't know what math means. Math is a module that comes with Python, but it's actually not part of the standard Python like itself. So we need to import that just like we did the turtle module. So I'm going to go ahead and import math. Now I'm going to run this. Okay. And Okay, so I, f I don't get an error, but it's not working because I forgot to do the keyboard binding. So I'm going to go down to here and I'm gonna do win.onkeypress player.accelerate. And I'm going to use the up arrow. Let's see what happens there. So when I push the up arrow, <laughs> okay, so it's uh, okay, so it's it's flying all over the place because what happens as soon as I push that up arrow, it kept accelerating. the 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 speed kept going up and up and up and up. Okay, so what I got to do is win dot on key press player. I'm gonna call it decelerate, even though it's not technically correct uh, physics wise, but I'll just go ahead and use that. It makes it easy. So when I accelerate. So def dot x if I'm decelerate. I mean, actually, what I'm doing is turning off the engine in this case because it's going to keep moving. Self dot thrust equals zero. Okay. So what that means is that the engine is no longer pushing the spaceship. However, because we're in space, it's going to keep going because of inertia. Let's go ahead and test that again. So I'm going to go ahead and turn. Oops, something went wrong. All right, let's stop and take a look at that. And what did I do wrong? 0, 0.0. I'm sure that's correct. And hmm. So this is where we got to do a little bit of thinking about what we did and what we did wrong and why we're, why we're bad people that our, our program isn't working. So let me go up to uh, this section, make sure that's correct. Let's, yeah, so plus equals. That's really important. I've forgotten that many, many times and it's good and if we go to self.thrust plus equals self.acceleration correct and decelerate self.thrust equals zero i think i'm pretty happy with that let me test that again because that's i think that's correct okay now what did i do wrong oh did i have an error i don't have an error okie dokie Ah, this should be on key release, duh. Okay, so instead of accelerating, I was just decelerating the whole time. So when I push it down, I want to accelerate. When I release, I want to decelerate. Okay, okay. Okay, so you can see now how it moves like a spaceship. So until I accelerate, it keeps going in whatever direction it was going in. Okay, et voila. There, there you have it. So that's some spaceship physics, and that is some pretty cool stuff. So let me just review that real quick. So what I had to do to get the spaceship physics to work was, uh, where's the code at? I needed to add two new attributes, thrust and acceleration. 
So thrust is the force of the engine, the current force or speed of the engine, I guess. Acceleration is how much it's changing by. So if I push it down a little bit, it goes up 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, until I let go, and then thrust goes back down to zero. And then we, in our update method, so again, we're still changing the heading by our change in angle. Uh, I just use the modulus to turn like 370 into, into 10 because they're the same thing. You don't have to do that, but I just like to do it that way. And then I used math, the cosine, and radians, and all that kind of stuff to separate out the different vectors of dx and dy. Just real quick, just a couple notes on this. Radians is a different type of angle measurement. So what we're used to is zero is over to the right, 90 is up, 180 is to the left, 270 is down. Radians are based on uh, pi. So it's zero over here, it's one half pi here, it's pi over here, one and a half pi is down, and then back to two pi or actually uh, zero in this case. So this function, math.radians, converts our degrees heading, so let's say 90 degrees, converts that into, which would be half pi, like 1.4 something, I think, or 3.1, yeah, 1.6 something, and 1.5 something, and then cosine t gives us the dx. It's just some mathematical thing. If you're curious about this stuff, look up something called the unit circle, and that kind of explains it a little bit better. And we're just separating out the dx and the dy, and then we're adding that to the current x and y coordinates. And then, of course, we needed a couple of methods here in the player class to control the acceleration and deceleration. And even though, as I said, it's not really deceleration, it's just a lack of thrust. And then the render method, I had to change a little bit because we want that particular shape to be a little bit longer than it is wider. And that gives us a bit of a, a direction. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's a tough one. Good luck. Stay tuned for more. Thanks.